All right, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at page five, um, five and six, and this is the addition or the stuff to make you think and the tough stuff on the lesson one in our unit five book. Um, we're still uh, working with the mobiles and changing those into algebra equations. So let me pull up the document camera and we will get going. Okay, like I said, we're here on page five and we're gonna start with number 13 here. And it says um, that based on the mobile, determine the if the equations are true or false. Um, so here we have two hearts, two stars, um, two moons and a heart on this side. Um, so reading through here, we have a heart, two stars, a heart equals two moons and a heart. So A is definitely true, whoop, true. Okay, here we have two stars plus a heart equals two moons. So what they did here is they got rid of a heart on each side. Okay, so this one's also true. Six hearts and six stars equals six moons and three hearts. Okay, so if we start here, um, they, it looks like they've added some things um, to each side. Um, so let's see here. We have that two moons equals um, a heart here. So if we add some things, we need six hearts and six stars. So if I add four hearts to this side, I need to add four hearts to this side. Okay, and if I add, we got six stars, so I need four stars and four stars on this side. But it looks like they've changed some things to moons instead. So we kind of need to figure out what a moon equals. Well, here it says that a that two moons is two stars and uh, a heart. So here, if we added four, if we get rid of this here, okay, and if we add four moons, because that would equal our, our six. Whoop, I don't want to get rid of that. Four hearts, four stars. Okay. If I get rid of two star, four stars and two hearts, that's four moons. So if I get rid of two stars and four hearts, sorry, four stars and two hearts, I get two hearts left over and I have four moons. Okay, so now I have six moons three hearts, which is what they have here. Okay, so this is true. Okay, that one's a little bit harder um, to see and get to. Okay, but we have to add the same thing to both sides and then figure out what is equivalent to each. Okay, two moons and a heart equals a heart, two stars and a heart. Okay, so here we've got two moons and a heart, a heart, two stars, and a moon. So this is true. That's exactly what they give us here. Three stars, two hearts equals two moons, a heart, and a star. So here I had two stars. If I add another star to this side, I have to add another star to this side, and that's what they did. Okay, so this is true. Three hearts equals two moons and two stars. Okay, so it looks like they just put this heart to this side and these two stars to the other side. And you can't do that because we don't know that two stars is a heart. So this one is false. Okay, those can be a little bit tricky there. All right, based on the equation, T plus 2P plus 2s equals 2t plus 3s. Determine if these equations are true or false. So 2 or t plus 2p plus s equals 2t plus 2s. 
So if you look here, we had 2s and 3s. If we subtract an s from both sides, both of those numbers go down. So this is true. 3t plus 2p equals 5s. Okay, so they took, they added this to the other side and they added, so they just added the letters together, which you cannot do. Okay, you can't just add all the numbers together. If you move it to the other side, you have to do the opposites or the inverse, which would be subtract in this case. 2p plus 2s. So it looks like they subtracted a T. So I got to subtract a T on the right equals T plus 3S. This is true. Okay, they just subtracted a T on each side. T plus 2P. So it looks like they got rid of 2S. So I got to subtract 2S over here. 2T plus S. This is true. 2P plus 5S. So 2P plus 5S, they added those together equals 3T, and they added those together. That's false. You cannot add them together. You would have to subtract uh, 2P equals T plus S. So they subtracted a T from both sides, and they subtracted two S's from both sides. So this is true. This mobile balances, okay? Why can't we find the weight? Excuse me. Why can't we find the weight of the shapes on this balance mobile? Well, we don't know what the total is, so we can't really find the, um, the weight. We can just know that it balanced. So we don't have any numbers. Uh, for that one. Okay, so we know that a pentagon equals two circles. Okay. And we know that uh, a pentagon and two circles equals a kite and a circle. So we know that two circles plus a pentagon equals a kite plus a circle. And we can kind of cancel a circle on both sides. And we could say a circle plus a pentagon equals a kite. Okay, so we can say a lot of different things there. Okay, does based on the mobile, can we say for sure if this one balances? Why or why not? So here we've got two circles as a pentagon. This one balances. And this whole thing equals a kite and a circle. So yes, it's the same, just rearrange. It has just been rearranged. Okay, but it's the exact same thing. Can we say for sure that this mobile balances? Okay, so here we said two circles plus a pentagon equals a kite plus a circle. So that's what we have. So yes. Um, and this one is just a simple by simplified version of this one. It's the same, just simplified. Okay, this string right here is the string right here. Can we say for sure that this mobile balances? Okay, so two circles equals a pentagon, a kite, and a circle. So what they did, they just moved this pentagon over here, um, which you can't do. You can't subtract from one side and add it to the other. So this one's not, okay? And they just moved uh, pentagon, the pentagon to the other side. And you can't just move, whoop, I'm sorry, you guys can't see that. And you can't just move this pentagon from one side to the other, okay? Is, uh, based on the mobile, can we say for certain this one is balanced, okay? If it's in the middle, it doesn't matter, okay? If it's right in the middle, it doesn't matter. It's gonna cancel itself out. 
So you have two circles equals a pentagon, which we have right there because this portion balanced. Okay, so yes, it does. Middle cancels and two circles equals a pentagon. Okay, we talked about that from the original. Can we say for sure that this mobile balances? Okay, does a pentagon equal a kite and a circle? Okay, if you remember right here, we said a kite equals a pentagon in a circle. So this portion right here is incorrect. Okay, this one doesn't balance. But um, let's see, two circles and the whole thing doesn't balance. So no, um, a pentagon does not equal a kite plus a circle. Okay, that doesn't equal, that doesn't balance. Also, um, two circles does not equal a pentagon plus a kite plus a circle. Okay, the two circles has to be on the, the two circles has to be on the same side um, as the pentagon, okay, or different sides of the kite. All right, let's turn over to page 16. We're gonna bring in some stuff from unit one here. Okay, with, with the thinking of a number, uh, we've got our pictures, our abbreviations, and then three trial numbers. Um, so think of a number. When we thought of a number, that was our bucket. Okay, uh, and the abbreviation for that could just be B, and I'm not quite sure numbers here. We'll get to that. Add five, we're going to take our bucket plus five marbles. That's B plus five. Okay, so from this number, we added five. So if I take 12 and subtract five, um, I get seven. Multiply by two. So if I take these things times two, I'll get two buckets and 10 marbles. So I've got two buckets plus 10 marbles. Okay, so if I take 12 times two, that's 24. If I go backwards, 18 divided by two is nine and nine minus five would be four. So Jacob started with four. And our last step is subtract four. So instead of 10 marbles, now I have six. So I still have two buckets plus six. So I subtract four, 18 minus four is 14. 24 minus four is 20. Now going the other way, I do the inverse. So instead of subtracting four, I'm gonna add four. So I get 16. I, instead of multiplying by two, I divide by two, so I get eight. Instead of adding five, I subtract five and I get three. So Kayla started with three. Again, this is way back from unit one. All right, some mystery grids. And like we've said before, these are getting more difficult um, as we move forward. Okay, so we've got here, uh, I'm gonna grab a pencil um, since they are getting a bit harder. Okay, so we're going to multiply here to get four. Um, you can't put a two and two, so that has to be a four and a one. Divide to get three. Well, using one, two, three, four, the only way to do that is to get use a three and a one. So if a three and a one is going here, this cannot be a, a one. So it has to be your four and your one's going here. So you have one, three, four. This has to be your two. You're gonna to multiply to get 12. Um, you already have a two. So 12 divided by two is six. So up here, you're probably gonna need your two and your three. So two can't go here, it's gotta go here. And this will be your three. So that means this is four. Multiply to get eight, you've got four. That would be a two and a one is going there. Okay, well, you know one is going in this column. So this can't be a one. This must be your three and your one there. Okay, so you got one, three, or sorry, one, two. This must be a three and a four. You're adding to 11. Um, so three, four is seven. So you need four more. So you need another four. So this must be four, four, and three. 
you've got four, three, two, this has to be a one. So that means this can't be a one. There's your two, there's your one, one, two, one, three, and then that adds to six. Okay, not so hard. I think we've seen some harder ones. Okay, mystery grid here, one, three, four, five. Adding to get four would be one and three. So one and three. Uh, subtracting to get one could be four and three or five and uh, well three is over here so it can't be the three so it'd be four and five well, I guess three could go down there so we're going to erase that dividing to get four must be a four and a one uh, but a one can't go here so this is four this is one Okay, a one can't go here or here. Um, three's going here, so I guess three could go here, but four couldn't go there. So this is four and five, but four can't go here. This must be five and um, four. Subtracting get to get two, I got four, five, so this must be three and a one. Okay, we're going to multiply to get 15. That has to be a 3 and a 5. We're going to multiply, let's see, multi or add to get 12. Mm, 5, 4, and 3. 5, that's 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so here we're just going to have a 5, 4, and 3. I'm not quite sure where any of those are going yet. We're gonna to multiply to get 20, maybe five, four, and one. Five, four, and one. I have a five going here, so this can't be a five. So five is gonna go here somewhere. Um, let's see, a one's here. So one can't go here, so one's gotta go down here. And four can not go here. Um, so four would have to go here, here. So it looks like five is the only number that can go up there. So that'll be my five. So I have one, four, five. So this must be the three. Raise some of those numbers. Okay, three can't go here. So this must be a three, which means this is a five. Okay, this can't be a three. So that's a one and a three, this must be a five, this must be a four, this must be a one, a three, and then four is there, so one and four. Again, they're puzzles, so you may have to, if you get one wrong, you may have to just redo it. Okay, two, three, seven, eight, so we know seven goes there. Divide to get four, that has to be a two and an eight. Um, multiply to get 56, that's seven and eight. Add to get 17, you need three numbers. Um, so eight and seven is 15, 67, 17, so two. So this is eight, seven, and two. Okay, I know seven and eight are going here. Well, this is seven, so this must be eight and seven. Okay, um, so multiply to get 18. It can't use eight and seven there. So this has to be a two and a three. Two times three is six, so I need another three. So you get three, three, two. So three, two, seven and eight must go here. So seven, so this must be eight and seven. This must be two and eight. And then we need a three there. Um, eight, seven here, no seven. Um, I need an eight, so this must be eight. This must be two. This is three and that's two, you get six, seven, eight. So there we go. Okay, again, some hard, they're getting harder as we go. They're just taking longer to figure out.
Okay, you need to know your multiplication tables, your division, all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's end here with the um, with the tough stuff. If the equation 2x plus 2b equals c plus b is true, which of the following equations are true? Mark true or false. Okay. So 2x plus b equals c. So it looks like they subtracted b from both sides. This is true. Ooh, throwing in some, some fractions here is going to um, make things a little more difficult. So it looks like they just divided everything by two on this side, which means multiplying by a half. So this is true. If I multiply two times a half, two times a half, C plus D times a half, that's all the same thing. Okay, so two X plus B minus C is zero. So they subtracted these to the other side, which is true. Okay, minus C to this side, B sub two B minus B is, is B, so that's true. Two X plus three B equals C. So they added B to this side and this side, but that doesn't get rid of it. So this is false. Two X plus B minus C equals B. So they subtracted C from both sides, that's true. Two X equals C minus B. So they subtracted two, one minus two is negative. So this is true. Okay, it's all about moving the variables from one side to the other. 4s plus t plus m equals 2t plus 3m. Determine if these equations are true or false. Okay, so 4s plus 3t. So they added 2t. This is false. You should have subtracted the 2t. 4s plus t. Okay, so they're subtracting the m. 2t, so that would be 2m. So this is true. t plus m equals 2t plus 3m minus 4s. So they subtracted, that's true. Remember, you got to do the inverse if you're moving it to the other side. 4s plus m, so they subtracted t. So 2t minus t is t plus 3m, this is true. 4s plus 2t plus 2m, equals 3t, okay, so they added a t to both sides, which is fine. It looks like they added an m to both sides, which is fine, so that's true. 4s equals t, so they subtracted t, that's fine, and they subtracted m, that's fine, so that's also true. All right, and the last one, we're trying to figure out the numbers here. And they actually tell us that a kite is worth three. So you get three, three, three. So this is nine. So this has to be nine. Okay, this is three. So nine minus three is six. So this has to be two, two, and two to get six. So that is a uh, hexagon is six. So this must equal 18, which means this is 18, but a kite is worth three. 18 minus three is 15, so square is 15 there. Okay, so kind of working backwards here. 24, so you got 12 and 12. If we break this apart, we get six and six, so square is six. Okay, so if I try to evenly divide this out here, um, I have a, a circle a circle and two triangles. Um, so you could do a few different things um, here and we're just going to kind of try and, and see what will work and we need to make sure it will work over here. So let's say that, a, that these are worth one. So you got one, one, and then this will be four to get your six. So one and four. And then remember this whole thing has to equal 12. So four, 
four. So four and four, that's eight. This is one, so nine. And then that must be, this is a three to get your 12. And if you cross the center out, this four equals this four. So we're good, everything balances out. If you picked another number, maybe you picked all of these to be two, uh, it wouldn't have, it may not have worked out over here. Okay, so you just need to check that. We kind of got lucky um, in that case. All right, so that is it for lesson one in unit five. Page seven has your additional problems on it that you can go ahead and work through if you haven't already and then start taking your quiz on it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.